Now folks, today I'm going to do a quick tabletop review of this Breezer Elva. Now, by mistake, um, Moonraker sent me the do-it-yourself kit, so this was quite fun. I didn't send it back because I love the service anyway. So I grinned and bared it, and I've done it myself. So I'm going to insert some other videos as well of basically what I did, but I'm going to do a quick talk through. So here it is. Now it just needs a little bit more work with some probably like 240 grit. I find 240 seems to be finishing it nice and black and smooth. So basically this came with these brass screws. So quite simply you get your red liners, drill hole through them matching this screw um, and you bolt the red liners in then put the scales on top. Now these screw bolts will protrude out, um, so what you need to do, is all I did, is lay it on a piece of scrap wood, get a junior hacksaw on its side, saw them off. Um, the next stage is, um, you basically get a Stanley knife and trim around your red liners till the flush, and as you can see they finish up flush like this. Um, then next is down to the finishing and shaping. Now these come very square. I'm going to insert the videos in so you can see. Um, basically what I used is a Dremel tool just to roughly shape it to fit my hand. Um, as I've previously shown you, I grabbed four inch on a ruler. So this is perfect for me. So that's large to extra large hand. So it's a Puko. Basically I wanted a Puko but I didn't want to pay the earth for one. This was roughly £40. Um, if you get it ready done, it'll be 80. Now, one second, bear with me, I'm just having a, a bit of a hiccup. It's £80 completed with delivery, um, so you won't have to bother with this drama. However, that will be with stainless um, finishings, bolts, and you don't get red liners. So this is like a bit of a um, modified version, if you like. So... I'd recommend using a Dremel just to speed up things because this micarta isn't hard to work with but just to speed things up now I'll give you a time frame I spent about two hours to do it and that was using a Dremel so it does add a bit of work and um, I still haven't finished this yet so that's taken me about two hours so it's made of 12C27 steel, which is Sandvik, and my experiences with that is it's good. Um, it stays razor sharp. This is how it came. This was a, basically a blank, and now that's through um, basically a cruise magazine. So Sandvik is a very good steel for getting very, very sharp, as you can see. You could just go up and shave your face for that if you really wanted. It really is just that sharp. Razor sharp. Um, it's good because um, you could strop this weekly and keep it razor sharp. Um, it's got quite a good re edge retention. Sandvik 12CAC27. Um, it's the same as the Garberg as well. That's, I believe, in 12C27, which is another top-rated knife. But... I'd recommend getting one of these kits if you've got a bit of know-how, um, a few basic tools. So you need junior hacksaw, flathead screwdriver to tighten the bolts up, which will protrude like this. Stanley knife to cut your liners off so that they fit flush. And then I'd recommend starting with probably a 100 grit um, because that, that does actually finish it quite well as well. And then going up to a 240 to finish it. And then, then you should get a nice layered, as you can see, just as the light hits it, slightly layered. Now, I'm not happy with this yet. It does need a little longer, but I'm certainly going to put the effort in because I've just had a refund for 20 quid. So that I, by my maths, that works out roughly this whole kit is £60 if you do it yourself. And... For these Breezer knives, used to be called Enzo, but now they're called Breezer. Um, I got this from Moonraker, and I'm very impressed with it. I wanted a Puko, didn't want to pay the earth, and I'm really happy with this. 
So now I'm just going to insert my videos after this for you to have a look at to just give you a bit of a rough idea. Um, I didn't do any Dremel videos because I don't think it's safe. I don't want to try and film. I don't want to jeopardise my safety, basically. Um, my eyes are quite important, you know, <laughs> as everyone's are. Um, basically, it'd help if you got advice. I'll insert these videos now if you're interested. Um, they're not very detailed, but it'll help for some people to get an idea. Um, as I was saying, it just needs a little bit more, but... It's going to be a working knife, I'll use it for hunting, bushcrafting. I'm going to partner it up as well with my MOD knife. So I'll have a big big knife, a tomahawk, a folding saw, and this for finer work and food prep because it's stainless. So stainless is good for food prep, obviously. So thanks for your time. Carry on watching for those other videos I mentioned. And please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. But I love making knives. <laughs> My Carter, watch how this cleans up. This has only had 100 grit on it. Lovely. Rough shaping done. Nice and round. Just need to do the fine polish now. See how good this My Carter comes up. Look at that. I've made them. Happy with that now. Now time for the reveal. Perfect.